Hey everybody, hopefully you're having an awesome day today. Welcome back to my channel. I've got another video for you guys. Before we get into it, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below on your thoughts of the video and information explained to you guys. Anyway, let's get down to it. This video is going to be a overview of the EJPT certification provided by eLearn Security. EJPT is eLearn Security Junior Penetration Tester, but what is that? Let's check out the overview here. eLearn Security Junior Penetration Testing is 100% practical certification on penetration testing and information security essentials by passing the exam. A cybersecurity professional proves to employers they are ready for a rewarding new career. Right, with that being said, this is a basic level slash fundamental level exam. Before I took this exam, I had passed the penetration test plus exam provided by CompTIA and that did help me out because by taking that penetration test plus exam, I learned the foundational knowledge of penetration testing, the process, what it entailed, what type of activity that you needed to do in order to conduct a proper penetration test. And that further assisted me with this certification here. Now with this certification, you do not need to go and take the pen test plus certification. All the training and information you need is provided by INE in that course for this. I did sign up for the free starter pass and I took the entire course. I did everything in that course pretty much, did all the labs, went through all the information. And I did look at the programming section, but I didn't go through it all the way because it's not really needed for the exam, but it does help you out if you need to create some kind of script and can speed up the process when you're going through the actual exam. Now the exam itself is 72 hours long, 20 multiple choice questions. And with this exam, you not only have multiple choice questions, but in order to answer those multiple choice questions correctly, you will need to carry out several different activities in order to get that correct answer. Similar to like a capture the flag type process with like something like try hack me, et cetera. YDGPT said of putting you through a series of multiple choice questions, you are expected to perform an actual penetration test on a corporate network, right? Which I just explained. EJPT is the only practical certification that proves you have essential penetration testing skills. And it does do that. You'll come to find out as you're going through the training itself, it covers various different topics. It'll have you do like quizzes and labs for each you know, se separate section of those topics. And I highly recommend not half doing things. I recommend that you actually learn the concept that's being taught. Make sure you're understanding what's going on because that'll come in handy when you do the actual exam. If you just have to do things, then you'll probably get lost in the sauce when you're going through this exam. There was a couple areas where I got stuck on, but this test is open book slash open internet, what have you. So you can use various different resources to get the knowledge or to look up something that you may have forgotten. Like let's say, you're in a meta exploit, you need to exploit something. Oh, well, how do I do that? How do I find that module? Well, okay, let's get on Google or YouTube and see what they did. Oh, okay, they ran this command and did that and that, configured it this way, okay, great. Oh, routing stuff, okay, let's go and look at that. Oh, let's go and reference the training material of that section and then there you go. Also, make sure to take detailed notes because you can just reference your notes. Knowledge domains, several different knowledge domains that are tested. During this exam, as you can see there, plethora, TCIP, IP routing, LAN protocols, devices, HTTP, and web technology, et cetera, et cetera. It does cover some things in web security testing. This was based on Metasploit, as I just explained. For this exam, I used Kali Linux. And what you do is on the exam day or whatever, you just download the VPN file, and then you access their lab environment through there and I use Kali Linux because it had everything that I needed. You can use whatever your distribution or operating system to do this exam with, but I highly recommend using a penetration and testing specific distribution or operating system such as Kali. Prerequisites, deep understanding of networking concepts, simple manual web application security assessment exploitation. Now with that there, the simple manual web application security, I did take a look at the burp suite and the training on the Port Swigger Web Academy site. I did some labs in there so I could get better understanding of how to use the product. And I did assist me in this exam. The actual exam, of course, like I said, INE's virtual lab environment, you'll need internet connectivity and VPN software in order to carry out this exam. And 
make sure to check out the site. Make sure the search aligns with your career goals and your ultimate goal where you want to be in your career. Like I said, I took the pen test plus, learned the basic foundational knowledge of how to carry out penetration tests. After that, I took this exam here, passed both of them. Like I said before, what you put in is what you get out of the certification. So make sure not to have to do things because these certifications can be pricey. I believe the Penetration Plus exam must have been around $400 or so. This exam right here was $200 just for the exam voucher. And I did not want to take a retest. So I made sure to put in the time and effort to understand everything I needed to understand in order to pass this exam successfully. I just wanted to mention that they are improving this exam to create the EJPT version 2, which is, I guess, a revamp of the original one, and they're adding more details and content. So look out for this coming soon. It looks like it's still in beta, apparently. So beta pretty much means it's going through kind of like peer review with other people that have test out this exam, and then I'll give their honest feedback to the vendor so they can make final improvements before releasing the version two to the public. And with these beta exams, from my experience, I've taken beta exams with CompTIA or CompTIA, and those were significantly cheaper than the real exam. I think the beta exam for CompTIA that I took was only like $50 or so. And if you pass that, you automatically earn the exam whenever they release it. And I think this one's probably a similar process, just going through and looking at it. Here, they've increased the training significantly set four sections courses 12 videos 229 quizzes 154 labs 120. they even changed some of the topics and skills covered as you can see here let's see about dynamic exams dynamic exams include a subset of questions that will change each time an exam is attempted making each user's testing experience okay so they are going along with the trend basically kind of like the cissp where each person will have a specific or unique exam per individual taking the exam. So you're not going to get an exam that's going to have the same exact questions as another person taking the exam, basically. At least that's what it sounds like it, to me. Uh, the career path is still the same, EJPT version 2, then the EC, PPT version 2, and then the next one there, the extreme version of that. That's, that's basically it. Then they list out some missed roles here. If you click on it here, it goes into details and stuff covered here. So glad they have this outlined here. So if you want to continue with this certification path, it'll tell you which one you need to take after the previous exam. Go ahead and check out this as well. See if this aligns with your career path to cybersecurity. Thank you.